The starting point of my entire research on archetypal dimension was actually a cliché. A cliché from Wall Street. Uh, but which is true historically as well. Uh, it is that markets, financial markets, know only two emotions. Greed and fear. I would actually say greed and panic, you know. So, uh, where are these two emotions coming from? The only tool we have to understand collective emotions, the only field that has dealt with that, collective psychology, is uh, Jung's uh, archetypal psychology, which has been developed by other people like James Hillman and others. So, I started looking into that and uh, finding where those emotions come from. And I found out that the conventional map, the quaternio of uh, Jung, with the four major archetypes of the sovereign, the warrior, the lover, and the magician, which is the, the most classical framework that has been used, uh, among others by Moore and Gillette, um, doesn't explain those emotions. Where is it coming from? And as I started digging, something came to me, which is the Great Mother. The missing archetype. The Great Mother archetype is the one that relates to sexuality, to life and death, to nurture, nurture of any kind, including money. And uh, the Great Mother was also directly related to all the earliest forms of money systems. Whether it is cattle, which is still used in some uh, pastoral societies. Uh, the cow is the cosmic vision of uh, the feminine in many, uh, in many cultures. Uh, the Hathor of Egypt, uh, the Kali of uh, the Hindu tradition the glass in the Irish uh, Celtic tradition, the white buffalo woman in the North American tradition, you find them in every culture. Fiercely protective of her young uh, and nurturing. And many other forms is the same. Uh, you have the cowrie shell, you have uh, the word money comes from Juno Moneta, Juno, the goddess of femininity in the Roman pantheon, and it's her basement, her belly, that the mint of the empire was operating. So, we're surrounded by it. Well, the Great Mother has had a bad time, for about 5,000 years actually, since the beginning of patriarchy. And when you repress an archetype, it doesn't go to vacations in Cancun or somewhere. <laughs> you attract it. You become a magnet for it. You'll marry it. You'll have it as boss, as neighbor. Uh, she will manifest around you and in her form of the shadows. The shadows of the Great Mother are the two poles of greed and fear of scarcity fear of loss. We have embodied these shadows in our money system. Our money cannot be insufficiency. It needs to be scarcer than its usefulness. I'm quoting from a monetary textbook. Otherwise, you have hyperinflation. And interest is a process to provide a motivation to accumulate indefinitely. More and more is always better, better, without limit. So the greed and scarcity is embedded in our money system. The great money manifests through these collective emotions in our financial markets and drives the whole system. Crazy. <laughs>